good morning. So it's um, coming to the end of January and uh, it's probably my first actual day off work that I haven't actually taken sick. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm out down White Springs trying to catch a perch. Um, the weather yesterday was alright. Today it's blowing gale force and raining so it's see I just like I always have to do I've picked a day where the weather changes for the only day I've booked off work. If that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense actually. Uh, it just doesn't really matter. Anyway, perch fish in the white springs. See if I can't catch a nice uh, nice fat stripy perch. And I've got a carp right up the side just in case uh, for a bonus little fish. Or bonus carp hopefully. Alright then, catch you guys later. Here we go, fish number one for me. A little, well, I don't know, it's a sort of like roach bream hybrid. More breamy than anything. Roach in it, though, definitely. But, what? Yeah, this is the, my first fish of the year. It's not not the best start, is it? Well, I like it, it's pretty fresh. Yeah, but it's not too bad. Let's slip him back and get some perch on the go. So there you go, fishing alongside Ray. And uh, just on the side there. So I'll pick out his miserable fat face. I love the fact that you can focus right in his face and he doesn't even know you're filming him. Brilliant. Hi, fat boy! <laughs> How's it saying hello? Right then. So we quickly hop over to Ray's swim. And he's got himself a little, little brown trout. Let's see when. Well, it's not a perch, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rock, I keep getting roach. And now this. Well, I'll give you a bit of an update. I've moved about three foot left. Um, literally because every time the wind hit the bivy, uh, the brawly, it would rip it out of the ground. So um, I can't get very deep here because it's it's very gravelly. Um, I was digging down with the bloody with a with the bivy peg trying to make a hole to put the brawly in, and I couldn't even get the bivy peg down. So uh, yeah, so that was hard work. So I've decided now to move it across and strap it to the side of this uh, cast iron bench frame. So um, hopefully, hopefully it won't take off again. It took off about four times. But, um, Give me the chance to get away from what is now a proper muddy little pit where I set up. Uh, so I've got a bit more, a bit of a cleaner little bit underfoot. Um, fish wise, I just lost one. Um, casting out not far off the island, about, uh, about half a rod length off the island. So I had a tiny little tap, picked it up, and I could feel it pulling me round. Um, it was going round the edge of the island and um, came off. So I had something slightly a bit bigger there. Uh, I don't know what it was. It could have been a little bream. I wasn't so sort of like hanking the anchors into it and trying to get it in. I was letting it run. Then they, then they just come in on their own accord. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm getting a lot of little taps on the rods, and um, the wind is uh, high masking them. So so hopefully, if we have a bit of a Still patch. I'll be able to catch a few more. I'll be certain that they bite's not just the wind tapping the line or pulling it around. But, uh, yeah. All right then. I'll catch you later. Yep. Here we go. There's Stevie boy from the other side of the bag. Just walked around a bit of stalking. Let's have a look at Steve. Right there. Let's. A bit wily on the bat. Well, things aren't quite going to plan. Here we go. That's what I just put in the net. Absolutely swallowed the hook. Literally right down. I thought I was going to have to cut the line. I actually got the scissors out. And I just managed to spit it out right at the last second. But uh, 
Yeah, it's freed all my line up and left my hands coated in goop. So, yeah, one bream, one eel. Brilliant. Maybe I'll get uh, one of every species. You never, never know. All right. Well, the wind's changed direction and the rain's gone back. Um, and I think I missed three bites now. I think one was an eel which came off. I saw a little head come up and I thought, oh, uh, at least I got <laughs> At least it was a lot bloody easier to get that one off. But um, yeah, this rain, this rain's not stopping at all. <sighs> but my bolly is pointless because the wind is pushing the the rain directly underneath it and it's coming in from like two different angles so it's I've got a strap to a scrap a strap to the bed so I haven't, can't even so like maneuver it away from the wind or, or the rain Ooh, I think I'm gonna be wet when I get home tonight <laughs> All right. well I've had a take on what was going to be my bonus carp rod at the side see if I can catch tiny little car and um, surprise surprise <laughs> it's not a car oh probably about one one pound one pound three ounces maybe I'm not even gonna oh it's just slot but uh, let's get it back I'm just close to the bite so we can show you this one. Very pretty colours in all of them. Uh, second common cap. Probably five and a half, six pound. Okay. So good. Well, it's been a long time since an update. It hasn't stopped raining. No perter turned up. Um, literally, I just picked up a bonus calf anyway, so... Uh, a hell of a scrap on it, to be fair. Here we go. Still going. 11 pounds and four ounces this was. Uh, quite a chunky little fish. And it's just going and going and going. Right, let's get it back, and I think I'll call this session a day now because everything's soaking and I'm covered in mud. There we are, thank you very much. Right, so, so I'm in the car, all packed up, soaking, covered in mud, I've rinsed loads of stuff off just in the edge of the lake. Um, one of the hardest days perch fishing I've ever done. Um, it, it, it was relentless, the rain, it came down and it stayed down. It wasn't, there was about half an hour break and it went blue and I thought, oh, it's gone. And then it came back with the vedreds uh, and... To top it off, for a day perch fish, and I didn't land a single perch, I had a, uh, a two bream and eel and a carp. Uh, a few fish on the bank, Ray had a few, uh, uh, Steve had a handful of carp when he was going around the edges. So, it, yeah, it's been quite a productive day, but no perch. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you next time on the bank. Ta-da.